So the Nothing Phone 2 is finally officially a thing, and as well as being packed full of tasty upgraded hardware, this more premium blower also sports the latest Nothing OS 2.0 software. For version 2 of its launcher, Nothing has made a lot of changes, evolving the UI and adding a bugger load of new bits, including fresh glyph features to enhance that spangly disco arse. And because there's so much packed in there, I decided to do you Nothing fans a full tips and tricks guide highlighting some of the best new and recurring features in Nothing OS 2.0. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Now Nothing OS 2.0 is a fantastic evolution because it feels new and fresh while also retaining that familiarity. You've still got that distinctive Nothing dot matrix style, but you've now got a more monochrome vibe in Nothing OS 2.0, and this is a bid to reduce distractions and cut down on screen time. Not having a series of bold, colourful icons right in your face means you tend to only tap the apps that you actually intend to use, rather than picking up your phone just to check your messages, then an hour of doom scrolling later, you're like, ah, oh, bam. Never fear if you are not a fan of these black and white aesthetics though, because Nothing does very kindly offer you a choice when you first boot up the Nothing Phone 2, allowing you to go with the new monochrome flow, otherwise stick with a more traditional stock Android vibe. And Nothing OS 2.0, just like the original version, puts a strong emphasis on widgets. You got loads of Nothing's own branded widgets to choose from, eight in total in fact. An analog clock, digital, world clock, handy if you do a lot of traveling, Quick look is a bit of date and weather action, although you do also have dedicated nothing weather widgets that you can choose from too. And you can also add quick settings widgets to your desktops. Quick settings, in case you don't know, are what you'll see when you drag down that notifications bar, basically toggles for features like the Bluetooth, and fast access to the likes of the Google Wallet. And you can choose to stick your favorite ones right there on the desktop if you find you access them quite a lot. So for instance, because I'm constantly toggling auto-rotate on and off, I've got it right there on my desktop. And Nothing has also improved its folder options as well, so you can quickly and easily create a folder simply by dragging one icon on top of another one here on your desktops. And then if you long press that wee bugger, you can enlarge it. You'll still be able to fast access your three most popular apps within that folder simply by tapping them. Otherwise, the others you will have to tap into the folder in order to access them. When you long press on an enlarged folder, you can customize it. You've got a few different options to choose from, including the funky circular design. This is quite good because it allows you to fast tap six different apps instead of just the three. And then if you want to dive further into the folder, just tap in the middle here. You can, of course, give folders a more interesting name than just folder. And if you want to properly hide away those apps from view most of the time, well, what you can do is go to customize and choose the cover option. And then instead of actually seeing the app icons, what you'll see instead is a smiley face or a gamepad, pair of cherries, make of that what you will. One of a variety of different icons that you can choose from right here. Woo, cool little kitty cat. So right here, my distracting sh** has been hidden away neatly from view while also still being easily accessible when I want to be distracted. Sadly, you can't craft your own dot matrix folder cover images just yet, but hopefully that is a feature that is coming soon. And another feature that's been improved for Nothing OS 2.0 is that lock screen. As you can see there, you can now slap some widgets on that lock screen, improve the functionality. To do so, just head to the Nothing Phone's settings and then scroll down to lock screen and EOD. You'll see right there at the top, lock screen widgets. Right now, this does only include Nothing's own widgets, not widgets from other apps, but you do have the likes of the quick settings. And these are easy enough to drag about the place and reorganize. And I do like how these widgets show up on the always on display. So you can get a quick update on the weather, for instance, without waking the Nothing Phone 2. But if you want to use the quick settings shortcuts, you will have to wake the device. Now, one of the standout and most dazzling features of the original Nothing Phone is that glyph disco lighting. And it's been redesigned for the Nothing Phone 2, now with extra sections to make it even more complex. You've now got a grand total of 33 different lighting zones and the overall system has evolved quite a bit over the original Nothing Phone. You can access all of the new features by heading into the settings and then glyph interface. As usual, you can quickly and easily toggle the glyph lights on or off. Although frankly, who wouldn't want that dazzling disco shenanigans in their life? You can now fully customize those glyph lights as well. So the brightness is set to auto by default. But you can bump that up or lower it back down depending on how full on you want the glyphs to be. As before, you can flip to glyph 
Quite handy if you need a bit of peace and quiet, you don't want to be constantly disturbed by nothing's slightly mental over the top ringtones and other notification sounds. Just flip your phone over like so, lay it face down and the Nothing Phone 2 will be silenced and instead you will just receive a bit of flashy glyph action whenever there's a message or something else that demands your attention. One of the other new glyph features for Nothing OS 2.0 is the glyph timer. Very straightforward stuff, just set how long you want the timer to last, in this case 30 seconds, and then place your phone face down and the timer will begin. And when this wee light bar completely drains, that means the time is up. And this timer style function can also be used by third party apps, courtesy of Glyph Progress. So for instance, if you're hanging around waiting for an Uber, that light bar can show you approximately how much longer you gotta wait. And in fact, right now, Uber is the only company that supports this, but of course, this is very, very early days. I'm sure lots more will jump on board. And for those notification sounds, well, you've got a selection of new and reimagined ringtones to choose from. Right now, there's a total of 20 default sounds. And even though these are quite distinctive, they're also quite obviously nothing ringtones as well. And if you think they're about as enjoyable to listen to as a squirrel being slowly run over by a steamroller, well, no worries. You can now prove that you can do a better job by jumping into the Composer app. As you can see here, this allows you to create your own glyph sequences and use them as ringtones. This is effectively a mini soundboard. Just tap these buttons here. You'll get a different sound effect and cause a different bit of the glyph lighten to flash. This first soundboard apparently comes courtesy of Swedish House Mafia. They're Swedish, they do house music, but they're not in the Mafia. Two out of three in bad. Apparently nothing will be working with other artists in the future. Hopefully some shouty long hair metal motherfuckers. You can change up the effects by tapping here. So for instance, Burr offers up a very different soundscape to Dan, which is strangely relaxing and terrifying simultaneously. And anyway, when you think you're ready to record your masterpiece, just tap here and then have at it. Give it a name, get it saved. Hans Zimmer, eat your tits out. And once you've composed your masterpiece, it will be available inside the select ringtone settings under Glyph Composer. And yeah, you've got even more customization options here on the Nothing Phone 2. Just long press on a spare bit of desktop, go to customization and give home screen layout a poke and you can change up the app grid. So you've got five apps in each row. You can also choose to have or remove the app names from underneath the icons. I prefer to knock that off. I think it looks a lot neater. And then if we head back, you can jump into wallpaper and style. And as usual, you've got a selection of certainly very unique nothing wallpapers. Not really my cup of tea, I've got to say. They're a little bit, uh, a little bit too nothing-y. I mean, frankly, they just scare me a bit. Bring back that waifu goodness. And then of course there's usual great selection of Nothing OS features which have returned in Nothing OS 2.0. So jump into system, you've got some pretty slick gesture support. So for instance, you can quickly open the camera with a double tap of that power button. Very handy if your cat or your kid suddenly starts doing something cute, just give that a quick double tap, you're straight in there. And this is also where you'll find that one-handed mode as well. Just drag down your finger at this bottom bit of the screen. And as you can see there, everything gets shunted down. So that's incredibly handy if you've got a very busy desktop. Just want to reach something towards the top. So that right there, my lovelies, is a squint at some of the best new and recurrent features in Nothing OS 2.0. It certainly seems like a nice evolution of the original version of Nothing OS, but it's great that Nothing is still offering that stock Android experience if you'd prefer it. So what do you reckon? Are you tempted by the Nothing Phone 2? Definitely go check out my full in-depth unboxing, which is live right now. Full review coming on the 13th, along with a side-by-side -side comparison with the original Nothing Phone. In the meantime, please do stop your comments down below, plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech, and have yourselves a really wonderful rest of the week. Cheers everyone. Love you.